Probably one of the greatest tragedies uh, in Christianity today, I believe, is the apostasy concerning the soon return of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I honestly believe that those among us here who are really looking for His coming and yearning for it would be absolutely shocked at the masses in Christianity today who no longer believe in the coming of the Lord. They have jettisoned that from their thinking and their theology. They are not looking for His coming. They are saying He will not come in my lifetime. Our teachings now saying he's, He may not come for centuries. And so they have put away and out of mind the truth of His coming. We are seeing fulfilled right before our eyes the warning of Peter, the apostle. There shall come in the last day scoffers walking according to their own lust and saying, where is the sign of His coming? Where is the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of time. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Makes me wonder if He's coming for those who are not expecting Him. He said, for those who look for Him shall He appear the second time without sin unto salvation. The crown of righteousness waiting for all who are looking, yearning, loving His appearance. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord is coming. Investigators are working to determine what caused the death of 200 cows in Portage County. The cattle were discovered on a farm field on 4th Street in Amherst. Today, the bodies were taken out in semi-loads to be disposed of. The Portage County Sheriff's Department says the animals died of a virus that causes respiratory and reproductive problems. Samples from the dead animals have been sent to Madison for testing. Investigators say there is no threat to people or other animals in the area. The Port Meanwhile, a brand new dead bird mystery. This time, dozens of starlings fell from the sky near Sullivan, Missouri. The folks at the Department of Conservation say the birds probably died from cold weather. Hundreds of dead birds turning up all across the country, including Arkansas, where on New Year's Eve, thousands of blackbirds fell from the sky. And of course, we told you a couple days ago about how in Europe they thought that thousands of birds fell out of the sky because they overate and got indigestion. Just when you thought there could not be more change going on in the world, Magnetic North is moving. Aviators know it has always moved, but not like this. It's just skipping along. It's on the move about 40 miles a year now along the polar cap toward Russia. It's a natural, unstoppable occurrence, but because of it, some airport runways calibrated by compass are now three or four degrees off. At Tampa International in Florida, they're going to repaint the numbers on the runway and redesignate them because the dead center, top of the world, magnetic north on the compass, is on the move in a big way. be in love with the appearing is to have a sense of reality. What do I mean by reality? The judgments of God that are here and that are coming upon the earth in mass. And then the eternal judgment of God, most Christians are not in touch with reality. They're not sober. There's moments and glimpses when we need God, but there's not a sense that the earth is pregnant with the judgments of God, that at the end of the age, the earth will experience the most 
ravaging judgments of God ever, and then there will be an eternal judgment. We don't think about these things. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. The Bible says he began to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. Now this servant is not eating and drinking Christ anymore. He's not into the Word. He's bored with the Word of God now. He doesn't want to hear anything about the coming of the Lord because it's going to ruin his lifestyle now. Because you see, the world is creeping in. The spirit of the age is creeping in. This man's thinking is changing completely. I've got all the time in the world. You know a lot of Christians today are living for the devil and saying, Well, uh, he's not coming right now anyhow, but if, if I get sick and before I die, I'll repent. Chances are you won't get that chance. Hey, all, all the is in this life. Thank God for family. Thank God for friends. Thank God for His blessings. But there's, this is not the real world. This is not the real world. We're going somewhere for eternity. This is just a little piece of eternity cut out called time and space to repent. A little time and space to, to, to prepare our hearts for the glory of God that awaits us. I'm not living for today.